Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late yesterday in my region on the 6th of November, Microsoft began rolling out updates to Paint and Notepad to Windows insiders in the Canary and Dev channels who are running Windows 11. So just a quick overview as to what is happening with this update. Now, first of all, uh, Paint is now on version 11.24. 10.28.0 and the first of a couple of features to look at is it has a new generative fill tool and apparently according to Microsoft uh, this feature basically adds or modifies elements in an image with text prompts and then you can pick an area of your image and then describe what um, you want added as we can see in the screenshot provided and then after that the artificial intelligence will take it and then try to generate that content giving you multiple generated options so anyone can pick um you know the right fit so you'll have a couple of options to go through um which i always think is good when we have those options and the edit is supposed to blend into the actual image as we can see in the screenshot provided now the thing with this is uh this generative fill is only available to insiders running Copilot Plus PCs, okay? So this is not available to so-called normal PCs, and you must be signed in with your Microsoft account to use this feature. So that's the catch with that one. Then moving on to the next, and the next one um, is called Generative Arrays, and we have spoken about this uh, previously on the channel, but Generative Arrays is also being added to Paint, as we can see, and what it does is it removes unwanted objects from an image and then using a generative erase brush you can then select areas to erase as we can see and the tool fills the space with matching background elements making it seem like the erased object was never there and uh, the thing with this one uh, um, compared to the first feature generative arrays is available to all windows 11 users so this will be rolling out across the board and uh, um, something else just to mention quickly um, as a side note, Image Creator, which is a feature that lets you generate images based on text prompts, has also been expanded to more markets, including the United States, France, the UK, Canada, Italy, and Germany. So that's the third improvement. And then the last one just to mention for the purpose of this video, and now we jump in from Paint to Notepad, where... Um, Microsoft has said, let me just reduce this quickly, Microsoft has said uh, from the release notes that some, some changes to Notepad are included in a new version 11.2410.15.0 and what it does is it introduces a rewrite functionality, functionality that's powered by generative AR. So what you can do is you can uh, select text and the AR will generate three text variations as we can see longer tone and format and then what you can do is that way you can then rephrase sentences adjust tone and modify length and this feature is also available in preview to all windows 11 users in the insider program so one or two of these are only rolling out to copilot plus pcs and then one or two are also rolling out to all windows 11 users so it looks like uh, microsoft is taking the opportunity once again to pop um and put AR into every nook and cranny of Windows and the different apps and services. So it seems that um, Paint and Notepad are going to be getting an AR upgrade in the near future. So if that happens, obviously, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.